Hey guys, it's Miss Arlequin, <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you guys a way that you can create thinking maps using Google Drive, which you might find that you actually like better than the bubble.us site that Mr. Gephardt showed you. I know that personally I like it better. Um, so what you would do is you would go to your Google Drive, um, like I am currently, and you would go right here to the Create button. And instead of creating a folder or a document, which we've done so far, you would go right down here to Drawing. And what happens is a new document opens, but it is a drawing document. And since it is a drawing document, you can add things like shapes as well as text. So just like with any document, the first thing you want to do is go to File, Rename. You want to always call it your first name and then whatever it is. So this is going to be my double bubble map for unit one. And then just like every document, you wanna share it with me so I have access to it. Even if you're gonna be printing it, and in this case, we are gonna print this double bubble map for our bulletin board, but even if it's something that's gonna be printed, you still wanna share it with Miss Arlequin. And Miss Arlequin should always have the power to edit. And so then you press send. I'm not gonna do it because I am Miss Arlequin. But you have it shared with me. I've renamed it, I've shared it, I'm ready to start creating my document. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to insert and then you can see there are ways to do text boxes. That's what you're going to insert when you actually want to write inside of the bubbles. You could insert pictures, so this is actually a good format to use if you have to create a collage. You can do word art, so if you wanted to make your title some kind of fancy word art, that's fine. Not necessary though. But for the creation of the bones of the thinking map, we need shapes. So I'm going to go to shape, and then shapes, and then I'm going to choose clearly circles. And then what I can do now is I can use my mouse to actually create the bubble. So I'm going to press down on the cursor, and then I'm going to move the mouse. And you can see as I'm moving my mouse, a circle is being created. So when I'm happy with that circle, I just release it and my circle's been created. And I can keep doing that as often as I want to make bubbles. So I go back to insert, I go to shape, shape, again I choose a circle and I create another circle. So that's one way to do it, is to keep going to insert. You can also, if you're just making duplicate circles, you can click on the circle and if you're on a PC, usually you can right click, although actually I think if I right click and copy, yeah, I can't do that. But what I could do is I can use the keyboard shortcut for copying. And on a PC, that shortcut is just control C. And then I move my cursor and I press control V. Control V is copy. And you can see I just pressed it like four times and all these circles just got duplicated and now I can just drag them to wherever I need them to be. So here I have created my double bubble map. The only thing that's left is for me to add shapes, specifically, oh not shapes, lines to connect them. Right? And then I might also use lines to create my frame of reference. Now the good thing about this also, oh, mistake, undo, I'm just going to undo that. The good thing about this also is that I can, line, that's my shortcut for line up there. All right, so what I can also do is if I'm unhappy with the size of the bubble, maybe what I end up writing inside the bubble is smaller and I don't need the bubble that big, I'm going to actually model it for you. So here I'm going to put... June. All right, so you can see that when I wrote June, it's not that big. I don't need a bubble this big. I can actually then select the bubble, go right down here to one of the boxes in the corners, click on it with my mouse, and then drag. And you can see it's making it smaller. And then I can move my text box more center. I actually should probably move this over because I've created a bubble map, not a double bubble map. So I'm going to need to fix that. You can see I did that, it ruined my lines. Again, I can play around with the lines by clicking on them and then moving the circle with my mouse. And here I have the beginnings of my double bubble map. 
and when I'm ready I can go to file and print and I can print my map and bring it to class. So this is just one other method that you might consider using when creating your thinking maps and it's definitely Miss Arlequin's preferred method. I love everything to be on Google Drive because it's so convenient to have everything in one place and it's so easy to share it with me. So I hope you find this helpful and you now know a new technique for doing some of your class assignments.